I'm in Rockefeller Center in Midtown Manhattan, and I'm trying to walk into a restaurant, only it's completely surrounded by TV cameras, reporters, the paparazzi are there. I've never seen so many cameras, but I'm supposed to be in there to meet a client and to meet a guy who's head of a PR firm. So I finally worm my way in, get to see Max. And I said, oh, is your celebrity spokesperson here? He says, not yet. She'll be here in a minute. In walks Kim Kardashian. And I have to tell you, I was frankly a little surprised because she has such this big outsized image in popular culture. Seeing her in person, again, you can say, TJ, who are you to judge people on their appearances? She was just ordinary looking, below average in height, uh, certainly not thinner than the average person. Just nothing particularly special about looking glamorous, anything like that. The press conference starts, and it was a press conference to announce a new diamond company selling diamonds in the United States. And Kim Kardashian was showing a giant diamond. I don't know if it was 18 carats. So it was huge, huge, huge. One of the reporters says, Kim, have you ever seen a diamond that big before? And she says, Oh yeah, actually my girlfriend has one that's you know, three times as big or something like that. Completely off message. You could see the client was sort of looking with their eyes big like that's not supposed to happen. But still, all the paparazzi were there, every kind of TV camera, every tabloid. She did her job of getting people there. When it was done, I spoke to Max, the PR person who put this all together. I said, Max, I don't really get it. Why is she such a big draw? Doesn't seem to be a huge talent. She didn't stick to message. Doesn't really look that different from the average person on the street. Why is she so successful? And Max turned to me and said, TJ, it's simple. She's a total pro. She all, because he had used her many times for other clients too. He said, TJ, she always shows up on time, prepared, there's no drama. You may see drama on the TV show, The Kardashians. There's no drama at all for the client. There's no drama on the business end. She shows up. She knows more or less what to say most of the time. She cooperates with everyone. She's nice to everyone. Never late. No one's waiting. No tantrums. Total pro. Why do I say that? I want you to realize there's more to being successful as a communicator than just having pizzazz or having a great sound bite or having a certain look. You need a certain element of professionalism, where you're, whether you're going to be a public speaker, a spokesperson, dealing with the media, a media celebrity. There are certain intangible things. I say intangible. They are tangible. You can measure them. If someone makes you wait 20 minutes, They've now wasted 20 minutes of your time. If there are 10 people on the set, there's now been 200 minutes wasted. So that's why it's important to be extraordinarily professional. Be polite, be nice, show up on time or early, which is what I prefer. And then if you're not overwhelmingly talented in every other area, the strengths you have on the professionalism side can make up for it.